Hey, housemates, want to play an area control game where you don't really want to control the whole area? A card game with a zero hand card limit? A variable player power game where everyone starts with the same powers? A terrain management game where the nature of the terrain usually isn't important? A themed game with abstract goals? I'm saying, guys, want to play Kingdom Builder? This is such an interesting game in its simplicity, really. On your turn, you draw a card and place three of your dudes on that type of land. Process complete. I mean, at least to start with. See, the best kingdoms don't necessarily fill every forest or cover every inch of the desert. You really want to spread your settlements out to acquire the most strategic land area. And here's where things get interesting. Suppose you have a settlement in a forest, any forest, and you draw a forest card. You have to place more settlements in that forest. In fact, if you have a settlement bordering next to a forest and you draw a forest card, you must build in that forest. In other words, new settlements must always be placed next to old settlements whenever possible. We'll draw three random goals at the start of the game, which award points at the end of the game. These can be abstract placement concepts, such as most settlements along a horizontal line, or most settlements in each quadrant of the game board, or maybe just large contiguous group of settlements. We'll know what'll get us the most points throughout the game, but due to the strict rules about placing new settlements next to existing settlements, this can be immensely challenging. There are special bonus action spots on the board that confer cool abilities like moving your settlements or placing additional settlements. As your kingdom spreads into new and distant lands, you acquire advances in science and technology, allowing your people to be much more resourceful and profitable. And connecting your settlements to these cities grants a few bonus points along the way. Anytime I've played this with new players, they ask if the deserts are harder to cross or if the canyons are dangerous or off limits. No, 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 no. The, the, the Badlands do have some slightly misleading art that looks unpassable, but no, it's, it's, it's fine. However, the board does have mountains and waterways, which usually are unpassable. Usually. Kingdom Builder was designed by Donald X. Vaccarino, who's generally better known for Dominion and its 300 expansions. Kingdom Builder has a, a modular board and variable goals, which means the replayability is absolutely tremendous. In case that's not enough, there are four big expansions, because of course there are, plus there's some micro expansions, including this castle, which allows scoring a bunch of extra points if you can connect to it. When any player has gotten all their settlements on the board, everyone finishes their last turn and the game ends. We tally up the points based on specific goal cards. Uh, some of the goals can be a little tricky to count up, so I advise patience and don't pull your bits off the board until everything's been counted, maybe twice. And the person with the most points wins the loving adoration of a thousand angry peasants. So what do you say, housemates? Wanna play Kingdom Builder?